the Edge Surface command. Open the 3D template that was created in article creating template for 3D modeling. Click the right window that you see on the screen. Click the view menu, select viewports and select one viewport. The Edge Surface command creates a mesh between four contiguous edges or curves. You can select the Edge Surface tool from the dashboard. Or click the Draw menu, select Modeling, select Meshes and select Edge Mesh. On the screen, you can see four contiguous curves drawn in non-parallel planes. Select the Edge Surface tool. At the cat prompts, select Object 1 for Surface Edge. Click the curve as shown on the screen. At the cat prompts, select Object 2 for Surface Edge. Click the curve as shown on the screen. At the cat prompts, select Object 3 for Surface Edge. Click the curve as shown on the screen. At the cat prompts, select Object 4 for Surface Edge. Click the curve as shown on the screen. You can see result on the screen. Click the object and right click. Select properties. It opens the properties palette. In the mesh section, you can see number of total faces of created mesh. Close the Properties palette. To change the number of faces which extend from the end points closest to the section point to the another end, type Surf Type 1 and press Enter. At the end prompts, enter a new value for Surf Type 1. Type 10 and press Enter. To change the number of edges uh, that touch the first edge, type surf tab 2 and press enter. At the cat prompts, enter a new value for surf tab 2. Type 15 and press enter. On the screen you can see four contiguous curves drawn in non-parallel planes. Select the Edge Surface tool. At the cat prompts, select Object 1 for Surface Edge. Click the curve as shown on the screen. At the cat prompts, select Object 2 for Surface Edge. Click the curve as shown on the screen. At the cat prompts, select Object 3 for Surface Edge. Click the curve as shown on the screen. At the cat prompts, select Object 4 for Surface Edge. Click the curve as shown on the screen. You can see result on the screen.